Okay, so I'm sure you've heard about some of the incredible things ChatGPT is capable of. And in this video, I'm gonna discuss how you can use ChatGPT to help you write your essays, do your homework, all without being caught. Okay, but mandatory disclaimer first, even if this helps you get a successful A plus on your next assignment, using an AI tool to do your work not only takes the learning out of learning, but can also put you in a tough spot should your teacher ever give you like a pop quiz or asks you in person questions. With great power comes great responsibility. And so it's far more useful as a tool that can help give you an outline of what to actually write or say generate a hook or honestly even grade your work before you hand it in. But with that out of the way, let's get into it with my first tip. Tip number one, use more complex inputs. So if I were to type in, write a story about a horse, as you can see, it's gonna give me something, but chances are it's not gonna give you content that's actually relevant for what you need. Now, instead, if I were to type in this other thing, you can see this is a lot more detailed and I'm putting in my tone, I'm putting in the theme. You can also put in how many paragraphs or how many words or that this is for an English essay class or however old you are. And the more unique inputs you give it, the more of a complex output it's gonna give you. A few other things to note whenever you're creating prompts, make sure that you give a clear and precise prompt. Basically, don't use a lot of sentences with subpoints or commas. You should instead focus on using shorter sentences that are easy enough for, say, even a five-year-old to understand. Second thing, always try to ask questions that are specific in nature. And more importantly, explain the context behind the question you're asking. Here's an example of this. What do neurotransmitters do? As you can see, it's giving a general output. It's all good, it's, it seems fine, right? Now, but let's try that again and let's make this question a little bit more specific. Answer this eighth grade homework question and be as short as possible. What do neurotransmitters do? Neurotransmitters are chemical messengers that transmit signals between neurons. So it doesn't seem a whole lot different other than it being shorter, but this is probably gonna be the one that your science teacher is more likely to believe rather than this other thing that's a huge paragraph. It almost looks like it as if it was copied straight from a textbook or an AI wrote it. So consider that in mind. What is the context behind the question? Don't just ask it a general question. Say, this question is for this type of work or this class or I am this old, etc. Other thing to pay attention to is your word choice in your prompts. Avoid using jargon or slang and really keep your wording as simple as possible. ChatGPT will have a more difficult time correctly assessing the true meaning of your question when you use jargon or just a whole bunch of words and synonyms and all that kind of stuff. Other thing, also avoid asking questions with yes or no answers or really just very general questions. These types of questions often don't produce very helpful answers. For example, did TCU beat Georgia in the bowl game last week? So it doesn't really have an answer, but here's some more examples of good prompts. Tell me more about the latest trend in the technology industry. Describe to me the characteristics of the ideal customer for our service. What are the positive and negative impacts of social media? Bad examples, tell me about everything. Describe all the characteristics of ideal customers for our service. Or what are the positive and negative impacts of everything? I mean, those are probably bad examples of bad prompts, but you get my gist. Tip number two, use apps to paraphrase the ChatGPT output. Every time you insert content into ChatGPT, it generates a unique output, but sometimes it, it can basically be flagged as plagiarism because what is ChatGPT? It's a big database of all the content on the internet, basically. Sometimes it's not gonna be 100% accurate. So the best way to make sure that you don't get flagged for plagiarism is to use the same tool that your teachers use. The most common tool is called Unicheck. This website is super helpful, but it does cost money on a per page basis. So consider that, but consider how much your grade is worth. So it's not terribly expensive, all things considered, especially if an AI assisted essay is the route you plan to take. Once you purchase your pages, you'll be able to see exactly what your teachers are going to see, and it will flag all the areas that you might consider changing. Side note. A lot of schools use Turnitin, but the software is only available for institutions and isn't available for individual purchase. Unicheck.com is the best alternative option that is still widely used throughout the education sector. The next best tools to use in conjunction with Unicheck are Grammarly and Quillbot. Grammarly is a tool that's been around for quite a while, and you can simply insert 
the content from the AI and it will show variations and changes that you can make, not only to make it more correct from the English language perspective, but it also makes it more unique as if it wasn't written by an AI. You can also do this with a tool like Quillbot, which is a tool that primarily will take content and change the tone or just change words throughout your paragraph or the work. When you use Quillbot or Grammarly in conjunction with Unicheck, you're basically guaranteed to find an output that you're, you're happy with and that's going to work and that's not going to get flagged as suspicious in, in any way. Also, it's super important to note that any references or citations that ChatGPT gives are not accurate. If you're writing a research paper or any type of essay that requires legitimate sources and citations, it's definitely best to still do the manual research and then go back to ChatGPT and then formulate content from the source. Now, similar to plagiarism tools, using AI content detectors can be a huge help when it comes to using AI in your essay writing. There are two types in particular that I think are easily accessible and user-friendly. One is on writer.com and the other one is called GLTR. These tools work simply by analyzing whatever content you're inserting and they're trying to match it against the known database of AI-generated text. The AI system will look for certain characteristics such as a lack of complexity or repetitive sentences or certain stylistic patterns. The AI detector can also use the techniques like checking the writing style and the vocabulary that you used. In the future, it's very likely that all the systems that teachers and educational institutions use in order to check for plagiarism will also be detecting for AI content. So it's important to make sure that the work you are creating and submitting is of your own. That means that you will need to not just ask a simple question, you will need to revise that and you will still need to work on it if it's going to be considered passing because as the AI output becomes better and better, so will the tools that detect it. Tip number three, use the open AI playground and train it to use your own tone of voice. With ChatGPT becoming so popular in recent weeks, it's caused developers to have a hard time keeping up with demand. I ran into this problem multiple times where I, it would just pull up ChatGPT and immediately say that it was at capacity and couldn't process any new, new requests at this time. So what do you do if you have an assignment due and you don't have time to wait for it to become available again? Sign up at openai.com, log in with your account, and on this page, there should be a link that says playground in the top left. This is basically the same thing as ChatGPT, but you can customize the output that it gives you. You can also train it for a specific model, which is a little bit more complex than this video is meant to go into. But consider that if ChatGPT is down, you can still insert a credit card and you can still get it to work for you, as this is a slightly separate service than ChatGPT. Number four, use alternative AI content writers. ChatGPT might be the most well-known tool and the most talked about, but there are numerous other alternatives that you can use to help you write your essays. Two of my personal favorites are boo.ai and lex.page. They both work in similar ways to ChatGPT and they utilize the GPT-3 language models, but the different programs will yield different results. Each tool works a little bit differently, but I think in particular tools like lex.page and boo.ai, which are more like AI assistance writers rather than whole copy generators, is a better approach to using AI with your writing anyway. In conclusion, ChatGPT is a really fun, easy, and powerful tool. Like anything though, it should be used in moderation, especially when it comes to helping you with your schoolwork. In time, it will become easier for content detectors to tell if you've used an AI, even if you use it in conjunction with some of the tools I mentioned above. So do your future self a favor and use AI in a way that will help not do your work for you. That's it guys. I look forward to hearing your thoughts and if any of these tips work for you. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.